gentlemen, our next bout of the evening is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the Cage Digression Amateur Welterweight Division, powered by Baldwin Builders. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 172 pounds. He trains at Pura Vida, BJJ, and MMA, and is sponsored by the Monster Lab. Joining us from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Herbert, y'all want to see a dead body? Rogers Williams! And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 170 pounds. He trains at the Chosen Few Gym. Joining us from Madison, Wisconsin, the Sicilian zombie, Salvatore Skiro! Here we go, both of these guys fighting out of the land of cheese. And the poll's literally dead even 50-50 down the line. Literally 50-50, holy moly. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Didn't touch up. Definitely getting ready to get on the good foot do the bad thing. Y'all want to see a dead body walking down the, the zombie here. Good leg kick, solid. He said Salvatore's brother picked up a big W on that last card in the main event. Let's see if his brother can replicate victory styly. Little front kick. As our polls has it half and half, literally 50%, 50%, 50-50. Shot from too far out right there. He's gonna have to try to, he's gonna have to get in closer if he wants to get the uh, dead body. <laughs> but to find out if this is Castle Rock or not, or Crenshaw, whichever way we choose to frame the dead body. I just like the way he's popped that jab nice right there, but then a good right hand by Shiro to come back after. You got too, little too, little, little too confident with that jab. Stick back and stick it like he was doing. Utilize that range. Good kick. One, two, three, liver kick. Nice job. There you go. Changing levels upstairs, downstairs, straight shots. Switching it up. Good leg kick there as well. Now he's adding in the feint, starting to really put it together. Same zombie doing a good, good job. Good body of kick there. Switching stancing as well. Absolutely nice body to the midsection of Herbert Hancock. See if he can rock it. Dated myself there, but that's all right. You had the eight tracks, didn't you, Jeff? <laughs> I did have some eight tracks. I bet you did. Jacked them from my daddy's stash. kick there from Herbert. About 60 seconds left, and it really could be anybody's round right now. Definitely still here feeling each other out here in this first round. Nice, nice. kick again. He's really picking on that lead leg of Shiro. And that one looks like it might have stung a little bit more. Absolutely. He backed up on that he one. Did. It looks like he switched the stance just ever so slightly to try to keep it out of range. You see a little bit of redness just above the knee there. Oi, there you go, spinning off. Just in case he tries to come back at you. Nice job. I like the way he is going upstairs and downstairs, switching levels like you said, champ. Yeah, I like the way Williams, he's upstairs, downstairs, throwing that kick, putting the combination in again, that calf kick, he's blasting it, making sure he'll change it up. Catch, he's gotta just be Ooh, careful. Ooh, good body shots body right shots. there. Wants to get mm. in the mix up. He's gotta be careful when he goes to try to catch that kick. I get what he's doing. I mean, man is literally punching him in the knee. You just gotta be careful when he tries to do that. You gotta I mean, catch it up when it's a little higher and then come off with the shot, but I like the idea of it. Definitely finding a home with that right kick to the leg. And if I had to decide, Herbert definitely edged him out in that last 60 so. seconds. I like his composure. I like his style. I like what he's doing. I like the punches he's putting together. You know, and the same thing with Shiro. I think Shiro just gotta get a little busier. Shiro really the only one to shoot there, unsuccessfully. He hadn't really set much up. And uh, like you said, Herbert looked really good in there, really composed, kept the range, got in and out. Uh, I was impressed with that first round. And Absolutely. he's putting the combinations together and throwing a kick, or he'll throw the kick, he'll put the hands together, but he's constantly going, he's attacking that lead leg, getting that, you know, popping it just underneath the knee right there and stuff the way, he just kind of laying that foot out there. Then he's attacking the calf, 
So, you know, I mean, I like that he's keeping that composure. He's in cruise control, moving about 55 miles an hour and just mm -hmm. enjoying it, not letting Shiro get him in any kind of scramble. Here we go as we open up round two. Fairly evenly matched first round, evenly matched pole overall. We'll see how it plays out here in round two. Right back out to the center. I like yes, how he sir. does that. Williams is running right out there. Let's do this. There's that kick, again, that calf kick. Finding success with it. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Another one again. See that, just when he reaches like that, that Shiro's needs to catch up on that. As soon as he throws that kick, if Williams gonna reach his hands down like that, where the two punches after? Bait that kick and fire that shot. Fire that straight, that's the idea. It's tough to see how that uh, left hand came across on Herbert's face from this angle. It looked like it caught him slightly. It's backed him up a little bit. Skiro looking slightly more offensive this round. Absolutely starting to walk him down a little bit. There it is again with that left. Short left. And now I'm seeing Herbert, you know, hold those hands a little bit higher. Right. Be on the defense. Yeah, takes a little sting from yeah, one of them shots. I like shots. that body shot, though. I like, I like that it. Straight right to the belly hole. He's doing Ooh, a good, good one. Job. Nice good left jab. jab. Good one, too. Herbert's doing a good job of going low and then going high like he did in that first round. Another leg kick here. There you Sticking go. to what's working here. Nope. Ooh, nice. Good right lead hook. hook by Shiro. Here we go. Starting to get a little busy here in the second round. Scott Shiro with this kick. Good job of peeling the hands off. Nice knee, nice body. Cheryl's trying to do everything he can to get this fight down, but he's doing a good job of crossing the face. Definitely nice defense from Williams. Get that leg down. Now he's going to try to look for the... Uh, good job. Good takedown. I can't believe he's... I thought Williams was going to be able to transition and shift that over yeah, and get out underneath and create a scramble, but Cheryl did a good job of getting heavy fast. Isolating that leg there. Trying to take side control. Not able to really do it. Let's see if the Sicilian zombie can take advantage of this position with this takedown here. Good job to push in a little bit. He's got to push away a little more. Be careful getting up. There we go. Nice job, Williams guys. back up to his feet. As they square off in sort of the center of the cage here. Skiro definitely making the case for this round, which could split it up without right now. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. That takedown is probably going to be a huge difference maker. And you know what I found the oddest part about that was Kiro with the way that when he wanted to get the takedown, see how he aggressively got him, pushed him back, pushed Williams against the fence and got that takedown. So it's kind of curious, you know, he's out here playing. This is more Williams' realm right now. He's dominating with the stand-up and beating him. So it's wondering, did he tire himself out? He needs to get another takedown. And he's definitely dominating the stand-up when he's walking Skiro down. When yep. he's the aggressor, just like that. There it is. Nice he's big left. Him. Yep, it's that third punch. It's that second and third punch. The punches in bunches, finishing with the kick, not one at a time. Which, again, Skiro is throwing one punch at a time. See, he sets it up, Ooh. finishes with the... Ooh, nice jab. shot. Oi. I like to see Williams stay at it, man. Anytime he gets it's successful in the offensive, when it's like he gets he won the Super Bowl. When he gets aggressive, it's He, like, stops working. and kind of showboats a little bit instead of staying on him. Well, tough round to score, but, you know, he definitely took that last round, got the more effective strikes in, but was taken down. He had Skiro on top for about 30, 40 seconds. Wasn't able to do much with it. That's the problem. When you see a takedown like that, Jens, you know, you work for it, you get them on, uh, into side control, but you're really not getting much offense off. And, you know, you, we have these short routes. Is that enough you know, to get Skiro the round? You know, the thing is, like, new rules, they're actually starting to focus on that more. If you take someone down into their guard, they need to stop scoring those things like knockdowns. you got to score like you would in a jiu-jitsu match. you got to pass. you got to pass the guard, get out to the side, and stuff like that. And that's the one thing, these takedowns where they just fall into the guard, that's nothing. That's yeah, just another yeah. level of fighting ring generalship at best. And people are starting to pay attention, they're starting to talk about it more. I could be pulling that poop out of pepper here, but I would definitely want to keep an eye on Herbert's uh, endurance here. It seems like he might have slowed down at the little at that last round that we shall see. You had me at nat poop, literally. <laughs> out of pepper too. Yo. I'm just on that poop. There's that cap kick again. That's the one thing. Good job. Look, aggressive jab. Right, right. right counter right over the top of that jab. And that's what you have to be careful. When you're out there and you're throwing that jab and he's firing his two, that is a bad Ooh, trade. Like nice Skiro's picking shot. up the pace here in this third round. Going for that guillotine. 
Not quite under right in front of us here in front of the broadcast booth. Williams pushing Skiro up against the cage. Skiro switching stance here. Got Williams up against the cage now. Keeping that on the hook. Now is the time he can push the head down at this point. Now he's got to pick it back up because where he's at on the body. I'd like to see them create a little more distance, man. Skiro was fighting in the home with some of them hands. Nice take down once take that again. That again. Nice take that that steps over. Right in the These are the difference makers here. This literally could be the decision maker of the fight with two Precisely. minutes to go. A very competitive fight between Skiro and Herbert Rogers Williams. He's trying to figure out, he's got to, he's got to pick a side, pick a leg and try to get his guard back. He's got to push on that thing, shrimp out, shrimp on that foot, get one and come back and get the other side. He's got to figure Ooh, out what he's Isolating that hand, ooh, he's about to. He's got to get under one leg, he's got to get under a leg. He's trying to crawl off the back door, but that's just going to get him stuck. You got to bump, 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 bump. Shiro on the other side is doing the right thing. Staying heavy, one punch at a time. Don't over punch and lose your position. But you stay on point like icicles, Jason Burmas. I do believe that takedown will be the difference maker here in this third round. Well, especially if he's not able to get up on his feet, right? Skiro right now doing a great job of just Going suffocating. For an arm triangle. Possible. Got the arm over there. Does he got it? Slipped. He's, he's working pushing on for it. Yeah. spot. I don't know if he needs to switch. There he goes. He's moving his body across to the left where he needs to be, or to the right, rather. He's looking for it here. I don't know if he's going to get the angle. He's trying to create the space a little bit, get that neck, free up that neck a little bit. We've seen here at Cage Aggression where they have to arm. He comes a little bit. Now he's got to push on that knee and get his guard back. There you go. Now, Cyril, you got to make sure you go from there. Keep those body shots. There you go. Stay out in front. 35 Good seconds job, left. Guys. Good job. Ooh. And there he's got the choke. Nope, not locked in. Now it's a little bit more locked in. Can't can't get that arm on the floor. What was that? Uh, Darcy Anaconda? What is that, champ? Is that a very Darcy good? there, and I think Conda on the other side, but I think he's Darcy. 20 seconds left in the fight. Doing a great job of taking advantage of that takedown. Like you said, Burmis, this will probably be the difference maker. Now he's got that doggy standing handcuff and firing the left. Ooh, he's got the whoa, arm stuck. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's in trouble. Has him stuck. He's in a lot of trouble. Had to eat a lot of shots. A going there. He can't get that one hand free when he grabs the wrist. Wow. He made a statement in the third round, but was it enough? It's a good was question. it big enough? Was it a t well? Don't start with that 10-8 stuff, but <laughs> I'm two rounds on the to one, two rounds to one, you know. Good sportsmanship. Another really good, exciting fight. Without nope. a doubt. We've had nothing but distance fights so far, gentlemen. We had one finish, KY. That's right. You KY are, with the mouth. The slippery one over the big D. Really good job, though. When he finally did, when he got in control and he got that on the ground in his in his happy spot, he took over. Again, that doggy standing, when you reach across, you get that far wrist control and you pull that up. The problem is you have to make a choice. You either have to block or you got to get, or you got to post. That's what, and so, and I'm running, I'm throwing left hands. You either got to take, eat these shots because you need to push up or you got to block them. Now you can't move. That's what makes it so hard to go cross body, grab that wrist control, pull it in, and then it's just a free left, depending on what side of the body you're on. But the way I got it, you're pulling in the right, now you just got a free left on their left. If they got a post, they're getting punched in the face. They got to make a choice. And that's where yeah. he was stuck. He got kind of hung out trying to get that leg. But like I said, Shakiro did a really good job in that position. Was it enough? What happened in the first two rounds? Really good fight. I'd like to see make it a five rounder. Really good fight. Yeah. fight. Can you? <laughs> Can you imagine two more rounds of that? That'd be crazy. The Sicilian Zombie was definitely getting into his groove there in that third round, and I think that second takedown is the difference maker. Really and, like and how the busy combos, he was. Though. I really like yeah. the combos. I like the stand-up of, of Williams. He did a great job putting the punches together, putting it together, and it was just, again, the ground being the deciding factor in that last round. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecard for our decision. All three judges scored this contest 29, 28, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Herbert Rogers Williams!
Herbert Rogers Williams. Herbert, first of all, man, talk about coming in here, Cage Aggression debut, and getting such a tough opponent in Salvatore Skiro. Well, I mean, it's an honor. I would like to uh, thank the promotion for allowing me to come on. Also, I thank my coaches for the awesome coaching, for telling me how to coach my way through this fight. But also, I thank y'all for t uh, taking the fight to fight me as well. So. Well, look, like I said, very entertaining fight. Lots of back and forth. There, there to close out the second round, there were a couple words that you guys had exchanged. If you don't mind sharing with us, what did you guys say to each other there closing out the second? To be honest, I don't even remember, my guy. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Well, look, I'll tell you. In the fight, you know, when, when it's the heated moment, you know, you talk a little stuff, you know, but that's a part of the game. The main motto, the main motto is to stay focused and keep driving forward. Well, look, you represent a very top-notch team up there at Pura Vida. Tell us what's around the corner, what's next, what's, what's on the schedule for Herbert? Whatever the Lord bring me, I'm going to take it. I'm going to just let you know this now. I'm not scared, and whatever you bring, I'm going to be ready for it. So bring it. Bring it! Ladies and gentlemen, that says it for itself. Let's hear it one more time for your winner, Herbert Rogers Williams. <laughs> 